Hello my learner, I am teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Helimu Learning Simplified. In our class today, grade 4, Science and Technology, we will continue with water pollution, effects of water pollution. And before we tackle our today's lesson, I would want or request we do a recap of our previous lesson. And our previous lesson was on clean and polluted water. How to differentiate clean and polluted water. Class, who can remind us what we said when we want to differentiate clean water? From Tom, clean water, we said it is colorless and it does not smell. That was correct. What about dirty water from Victoria? Victoria, dirty water or polluted water, contaminated water, we said it has bad smell or it is smelly, it is smelly and the water is not clear but colored. That is true also. And we learned how to differentiate clean and, and polluted. And we said clean water, it is not safe for drinking unless it has been boiled or treated. And for our today's lesson, I would want us we observe the following pictures. I would like us we observe the following pictures. The first one, you can see what? An industry. But the sewer lines are being ejected directly to the water. So, as you can see, class, the first photo, the water is going directly to the river. What is happening there? What can you see from that picture? Jen, what can you see? Yes, you can see fish which have died because of what? Maybe the sewage that has been ejected directly from the factory to the water. That could be correct. We can say so. Also in picture number two, what else can you see in picture number two? Yes, from Tom, you can see sheep that is moving in water, but it has oil leakage. So what is happening to that oil? The oil, you can see there is fish who are dying, the dead fish, because maybe from the oil spillage. And then we have the last photo. The last picture you can see, you can observe what in your pairs, what can you observe class? Yes, Wangari, you can observe what? A plant that is growing inside water, but is very healthy. It is very healthy. Correct. Now, class, in groups, can we now discuss what we have seen? What have we observed from the last photo from Wangari's? Or the picture, the last picture from Wangari. What have you seen? A healthy plant that is thriving well in water. What was that type of water? The water? Yes, class, it was clean water. So we say, clean water, it is good for plant to grow, like you have seen in that photo. But the last, the first two pictures we observed, they had problems. Fish dying because of the direct sewage from the industry and the oil spillage from the ship. Fish is dying. So we say water pollution affects living things and we said living things we have to animals and plants. It is also affect non-living things and today I would like us we observe the effects of water pollution on animals. How are animals affected by water pollution? Class, what are the effects of water pollution on animals? Number one, we say human and animal waste. Human and animal waste, when are released directly to the water, may result to waterborne diseases. Class, in a different lesson, we learned of the waterborne diseases. And these are diseases which are as a result of contaminated water. A good example is Corella. We have Corella. We have dysentery, we have bilazia, diarrhea, vomiting, 
stomachache, all these are just examples of waterborne diseases. Diseases which are caused as a result of taking contaminated water. And this has been as a result of animals and human waste. So class, we are advised kindly deposit human waste to the pit latrines or to the toilets. That is the proper disposal. Then number two, we say dissolved chemical substances may kill or harm marine animals. We have said when we use excess fertilizers in our farms, these fertilizers at times comes when there is rainfall and the soil leak, leaks. The, the water takes away the chemicals to the water bodies. What will happen? There is suffocation. There is arming of the aquatic animals, the marine animals, the animals found inside that water. All those who do well, they drive, they can't live outside water like fish, among others. So when dissolved chemicals, they go to water bodies or water sources, they will harm and kill those marine animals. So let us avoid excessive use of farm chemicals to make sure our marine animals are safe. We have also another example or another effect of water pollution on animals. When oil spills, it blocks air from entering water. So once the air has been blocked, we say now it suffocates and kills animals living in water, the aquatic animals. They will suffocate the aquatic animals, animals living in water. Why have they suffocated? Because the whole spillage blocks entry of oxygen or entry of air inside water. So once it has been blocked, we say it cannot. Now the animals inside there, they cannot breathe. So if they cannot breathe, it means they will suffocate and die. Class, these are some of the effects we have identified or we have deduced from the photos or the pictures that we had seen earlier. Now, a point of our reflection. How do you see or what do you think could be more effects of water pollution on animals? What do you think could be more effects of water pollution on animals? Kindly, for an activity for us to do, when you go home, ask your parent to assist you with their gadgets, either the laptop, the tablet, and using the internet. Kindly look or search for effects of animals, effects of water pollution on animals. Print those photos, stick them in your portfolio for our future reference. And that marks the end of our lesson for today. Have a wonderful time.